Hi, David. Well, welcome and thank you for being here as Thanks one of our lot, visionary honorees for this year. So when you started IDEO and the D School, design wasn't that big of a conversation. Fast forward to now, um, design is, you know, and designers are one of the hottest things going in Silicon Valley. It's nice. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know, what, what do you see in terms of where that's, where, where are we going in the future? You know, how, um, how do you see the, the future of design evolving? Well, you know, design was really a move from kind of uh, what we call from design, design thinking, or from using it as a way, of, a mindset rather than, you know, we used to be hired for our hands and now we're more hired for our way of thinking. And so um, that, m that movement to helping people kind of routinely innovate, um, I don't think will ever grow old. We I'm, uh, design has kind of tied its wagon to the word innovation now. I don't think design may come and go and all these kind of other things may come and go. I doubt that the word innovation is going to go, at least from Silicon Valley, innovation is not going to go. So now, to me, the, the big step for us is, you know, how do you, um, how do you help people routinely innovate? So design will go from us, us doing it for you, kind of, or with you, to how do we empower people to, you know, to um, routinely innovate on their own? How do we make organizations, cultures kind of inherently creative? Um, and how do we measure that? I mean, if you really want to know, so we're kind of down that path a little bit, but we're not down the path at all of measuring, you know, you know what's a breakthrough idea, you know? Mm, I think that's true. If, if you had to articulate maybe three design principles for large organizations to kind of unlock their creativity and growth potential. What are three things that you would highlight? Well, first thing I'd say is stop planning. Stop wasting all that time <laughs> planning. Do some like, do here, some here. doing, you know, <laughs> like we call, we'll call bias towards action. I mean, I like planning, but not until after you've done a bunch of experiments. So if you really had a culture that was more about experimenting to answer questions rather than planning to prepare, I think that would be a big thing. Um, another thing that we believe strongly in the design community is that um, empathy for the user, that, that it's, it's not just nice to understand who your customer is. We expect to get our ideas, we expect to get our big ideas from, um, from understanding what's the non-obvious kind of latent needs that people have. If you can figure that out, if you can understand, be mindful of what's meaningful to the people you're trying to serve or to try to sell products to, um, you're three quarters of the way there to an innovation in that, in, in that kind of way. And the other thing is, um, is, is I would say, um, is about uh, painting a picture of the future. I, I really think that um, companies make the mistake of kind of um, keep playing their cards close to the vest and, I mean, even internally, not, um, not being really good at storytelling around what somebody's life's going to be like. You know, science fiction is good at that and the Jetsons are good at that, you know, <laughs> and Star Trek and, you know, and that. But um, companies need to be able to tell that story of the future of their, of what their market's going to be like. Yeah, it's interesting to see some companies now having chief storytelling <laughs> yeah, officers good, or yeah. whatever. When, when you've been in, the, in and around the Valley for, for a while, you know, what, what is... What are one or two things that you're most inspired by or excited by at this particular moment in time? Um, well, I don't know that I'm inspired by any particular technology. I mean, you know, um, you know, whether you know drones or autonomous cars or whatever. I mean, I'm, that I mean, those are all interesting to me. What I'm really interested in is um, is basically how kind of open-minded and how vital the the valley is and and that um you know it's pretty clear that an idea can come from anybody i mean we went through a period when i was a young person where young people weren't driving the bus and now literally well it's funny the bus but literally you know 26 year olds are running the companies and taking the bus from san francisco to run silicon valley you know so um so i'm I'm mostly excited about how vital 
the, the small companies, big companies, everybody is, seems to be hitting on all cylinders right at the moment. That's great. Well, thank you so much. We're really excited to have you here and appreciate you answering these questions. Thanks.